All right, Matt, we're getting set for our third prelim UFC 250 coming at us live from the UFC Apex facility in Vegas. And Matt, a really interesting one at flyweight between Alex Perez and Juicy Formiga. And Matt, Formiga's been there and done that. Like, if you're watching this video, I don't know if you realize, but this is a guy that made his UFC debut in 2012. And while he is 9-6 and six with the promotion, he has taken on these names. John Dodson, Joseph Benavidez twice, Henry Cejudo, Ray Borg, and Brandon Moreno in his last time out. And while I mentioned all those names and he didn't win any of those fights, he's taken on some of the toughest tests in the division. And for Alex Perez, yes, he won his last fight against Jordan Espinosa this past spring. He does have a loss against Joseph Benavidez, but he just hasn't had that strength of schedule that Formiga has had in his much shorter UFC career. So when I read all of that out, it might seem like a bit of an overload. I'm going to throw one more thing at you. Do you see Formiga is ranked much higher in the division? And this fight reminds me a lot of Antonina Shevchenko and Caitlin Chukagan from this past weekend. Because surprisingly, do you see Formiga is an underdog in this one at a plus 120, Perez minus 145 as the favorite? What do you make of this fight? It's a really interesting fight because I do see ways for Perez to win. He hits extremely hard for the division. He's really good on, on the ground now. He's not nearly as good as you see Formiga is. But he does things well enough that I do think he could get the win. Here's the problem, though. He's going against a guy who beat Devison Figueredo not that long ago. Now, You're I know champion. he lost. Exactly. <laughs> no, I know he lost to uh, Benavidez and then Moreno right after that. But the Moreno fight was pretty close. And there is an argument that Formiga had or should have won that one. So I think people are kind of down on Formiga just because he is losing to those world-class guys. But he does beat everybody else in the division. And quite easily, when you really think about it. I mean, the Ben Yen fight really stands out to me. When he hit him with a spinning back fist, took his back and choked him out, like... When he when Juicy for me is at his best, he looks like he could be champion. The problem is, is that the division's kind of stacked right now. I know people don't really like to talk about flyweight that much, but when you look at the top five, it is a phenomenal division. And he's just kind of a victim of there's younger guys starting to move up, and he's a little bit older. I don't think Alex Perez has the skill set to beat Formiga, even though Formiga's 35 in the flyweight division, which is quite old, but I still think he's good enough to get it done. He's an older man in a younger man's division, but if I'm not mistaken, Joseph Benavidez is right up there with him and still at the top of the division. Okay. Going to be fighting Devis and Figueredo again, so say what you will about age and low weight classes, but these guys are continuing to fight the odds. Now, I said Formiga's an underdog, Perez is a favorite. Over on Tapology, at 743 votes. 67% of the fans agreeing with Formiga, 82% predicting a decision. Do you see it that way for Formiga? Formiga needs to win this fight. Alex Perez doesn't. When you really think about it, Formiga is the one thing that he doesn't have on his resume. He was never UFC champ. Now, not to say he will get that championship fight after this, but he needs to win this fight. Because if you lose three in a row at the age of 35 in the flyweight division, where the UFC seems to cut their fighters very liberally at that division, he really needs to win. If Perez loses, it's no big deal. He can go back to the drawing board, fight some more guys not ranked, and then work his way back up. So I think Formiga knows that. I think he's going to show up more than prepared. I think he's going to be able to get it done, probably by decision. Very interesting, too, because Perez was booked against Kai Kara France this spring. I'm predicting the win for, uh, I was going to say Figueredo, but uh, GCA Formiga as well. And Matt, we have a stock card for UFC 250. Plenty of great picks. Five minutes for our main event. Two minutes for the rest of the main card and the prelims, Matt, as we always say, with Fight Night Picks. Let's, Let's get, get into it. it.